Good evening, everybody, and welcome to more late for the first leg of this Manorama National League North playoff semi final between Salford City and FC Halifax Town. Again, an absolute monstrous clash here at Morlane as the two teams make their way out onto the pitch. And just so much at stake when it gets this time in the season. You've got to win or it's bust. He's in the middle, gets us underway, Salford kicks off, shooting right to left. And Walker angles the ball to the right hand side, which is headed clear by Halifax. Be interested to see how they line up. They've got the numbers not jumbled, but I think rather systematically muddled. Balls to fit through to Hume at the top of the box. His shot into the arms of Sam Johnson. And uh, first blood for Salford that really came out of nothing. Bounced through the middle. Halifax leaving far too much space there. And Hume with the snapshot. You know, it's good on Fraser that he's getting a run in the, gate in the uh, team. I mean, he's done nothing wrong to deserve Billy Priest to get him thrown straight back in there. Phoenix has got behind here on the right-hand side. One-on-one -on -one with Johnson. Goes for it. Flashes wide in the far post. And again, he's got his head in his hands there. I think he knows he might have done better there. The ball came to him over the top. And he watched it. Powerful run into the area on the right-hand side before flashing that one wide. Johnson came out and made himself big. Denton tries to flip the ball over, comes to the edge of the box to Denton, lays it off to the right, left hand side, shot comes in low, puts him in the near post from Richard Pennicut from the edge of the area. He didn't have too much space to work with, but he's put that one away and Halifax lead 1-0. Yeah, the third the first shot in anger, isn't it really? And it goes straight into the back of the net. You couldn't write it. Might they've been instructed to try and get themselves back into this game and battle a little bit more. It's Hume on the left hand side now. There's a light miss coming across the pitch as Hume crosses the ball in, headed clear by Wilde. And a brisk wind as well. Free kick Salford, fouled by Jordan Sinnott on the edge of the area on former Shaman Sam Walker. Walker goes low into the box, it takes a flick into the far post. That's a fantastic save from Sam Johnson. The, on, the offside flag's gone off against Fraser Horsfall anyway. But from a tight angle, that horse has got plenty of power. It is rising, and Johnson got a very strong palm to it to put it over. That was a save, well worthy of a higher level than this one. It really was, but uh, not the best of balls, but it nearly ended up in a goal. As well, we were saying about uh, Fraser's eye for goal for a centre back. It's incredible. It's not bad at all, is it? Uh, you know, he's you know very deserving to get on the score sheet uh, on Saturday against Downs. We get a couple of good chances. Hume on the left hand side. It's a lovely ball over the top into him. It's held up on the edge of the area at the moment by Scott Garner. Plays back heel to Johnson. Gets a great cross in. Johnson comes out and catches it. Keeps it just off the line there. That was a wonderful phase of play from Salford over the top. Hume really experienced head to bring that one down. Lay it off nicely as well to Johnson. Not just playing it into him. And Johnson with the perfect cross. Just John Sam Johnson. Equal to getting that one in. Balls cleared from the back by Salford. It's uh, Hine battling. No foul says referee. Keeps going on the right hand side. Josh Hine, he's got the pace as well. He's got Hume in the middle, lost the ball over, just needs to get across in. Tees it up. Phoenix underneath it, trying to bring it down on his feet. Plays it out to Johnson on the left hand side now. Johnston working his way into spots, goes to a low shot, blocks, comes to Hume, Hume lays it off, not again, off the inside of the post, comes back out, Johnston now on the left hand side, still going, Salford needs to get this one back in, Walker, back out to Johnston, Nottingham almost getting his double figures there, Johnston tackled and Halifax clear it, but too frustrating there, that's a brilliant cross by Hyde, and Phoenix instead of heading it goes with his feet, and then Nottingham to hit the inside of the post, I thought that was in. Yeah, well, I told him he wanted to get him uh, more forward in the second half, and somehow he ended up uh, sort of about 10 yards out with a shot there, and the uh, keeper was beaten. No chance he was going to get it, and unfortunately for Salford, it, it came off the post, and it, it didn't fall kindly. Sinnott, just on the edge of the area, gets in towards the near post, headed clear by Salford, and scrambling across, the Amis do get it clear. headed back forward, Denton flicks out to Sinnott on the left-hand side. Sinnott gets this across and into the box, looking for Denton. Clear to the top of the box, shot comes off the bar from Nathan Hotter. Comes back out to him, Walker's struggling to get this one clear. Halfbacks trying to turn for the shot, another shot comes from Hotter. It's out behind for corner and Halfbacks are ramping up the pressure. Cross comes in though, in, into the middle, headed clear by Horse will think it was. Shot comes in from Hotter and another one in the middle, Jay Lynch well positioned to take the deflection. Not sure who got underneath that one, but uh, Lynch well positioned there, watch it and caught it in the second attempt. Um, we're saying about the pitch, maybe starting to affect the free kicks as well. 
Yeah, it was up slightly. You know, there's a lot of sand, dirt coming up when the ball is struck. You've seen it a lot this evening with the uh, with the quicker players, or the you know on both sides as they start to get going with the ball and really start to you know power on. They look a bobble or two. You know, it really takes the ball away from them. They're struggling, so I don't think it's going to play a factor. Put in by Sinnott though, looking for the uh, run in the head of Pennicut, played by Salford though, well dealt with, no one forward though to pick it up. Kevin Roberts plays it down the line to Kasilo, Kasilo with the cross into the box, looking for Denton, got his head to it, Lynch catches it. And uh, for Denton, that's the first real chance that he's had tonight, and maybe didn't come to me at the angle that he wanted to. Walker from this near side. Puts it in, very tight to touch line, nearly cleared off the line there. Allen was lined up the shot, it was cleared by Halifax. That was very close to the goal line for Salford, looking to get a nick in there. Hume now trying to win it back, it's taken off by David Lynch. Picked up by Richie Allen on the left-hand side. Puts a great ball into the area, Nottingham got clear. And he's headed that one over the bar from maybe five yards out. And that was an incredible ball in from Allen, a great run from Nottingham, and just at the vital time, you probably wanted a smaller player to get to that. Grand into Allen. Allen lays it down the line, cross comes in, low from Salford. Ball had drifted in, cleared by Halifax, kept alive, ball, ball, in and in, close! Guess who flies her in? That could never be a very vital goal, and it had to be James Paul. 85 minutes, Salford won, Halifax won. I said there might be a goal in this one and there was. It's been, it wasn't a classic from James Paul. He scored many better, but has he scored any more goals? Quite as important. Well, you are approaching the full-time whistle. Thoughts on the man of the match? Oh, it's an interesting one, that. I don't know. I th honestly, you couldn't pick one, Will. It's, it's, it's been one of those games where everybody's sort of given it a 7 out of 10 and there's there's not been a, a huge standout performance. Um, I've got to agree with that. I mean, it, it's been good at the back, to be fair, but perhaps Simon, you can Simon, see this. Simon Grand's dealt with Denton well, perhaps Simon Grand. Let's go for Grandy. What did he give it to Paulie for getting the equaliser, coming on and doing that? Uh, well, it was... No, I think we'll, we'll give it Grandy back. There is the full-time whistle from Peter Gibbons. It's finished 1-1 here at Morlane in the first leg. We'll pick things up again on Sunday for the second leg up at the Shea.